ericmothertmother.com. Let's take a look at markets here with about an hour and a half to go before the close of session for January 19th, 2018. Markets are still trading close to all-time highs. And it feels like I am going to repeat myself. Pretty much the same thing I've been saying for many months. And I'm sure we're all tired of hearing it, but it is a fact. And the fact here is as long as we continue looking at the RSI for the markets holding above 69.1, expect the market to continue picking up momentum to the upside. As long as, especially as long as the monthly continues to stay above 69.1. And if you are new to this, this is just something the market's been doing in terms of strength. Once the RSI moved above 69.1, at the beginning part of 2017 you can see the market has been showing shallow pullbacks but ultimately has been grinding it to new highs and again feels like I'm just gonna have to repeat myself in this video because nothing has changed in terms of the market strength which means that we shouldn't be surprised that the market continues to be very strong pullbacks are shallow short-lived and back to new highs so in fact i think it is possible and it's something i've been you know suspecting we've been suspecting that there is a good chance we actually go into a hyperbolic move why because the rsi continues to hold above 69.1 now the question becomes how long can this go on well it can go on for weeks for months for years as long as your rsi is above 69.1 on the major averages which is true for the s p 500 monthly which is also true for the dow jones monthly it is true for the nasdaq monthly it is true for the nasdaq weekly all of this are holding above 69.1 even on the weekly it is true for the dow which continues to hold above 69.1 and again if you're new to this it might seem like a strange thing to say but evidence is here on the charts you can see here we stayed pretty much with a nice positive trend to the upside until we moved back below 69.1 same thing here we move above 69.1 we continue moving higher over weeks until we moved back below 69.1 so that's the Dow take a look at the S&P 500 weekly so we can expect the strength to continue until it comes off the 69.1 level something I've also been saying is we shouldn't be surprised if we see a pullback in price pullback of the RSI RSI starts re, re recovery market recovers and goes to fresh all-time highs after a pullback and it is a future negative divergence where the market will make an improvement in price highs and the RSI makes a lower high it is that negative divergence that is visually and technically gonna give us a major high in other words even with a pullback Let's not be surprised that the market will pull back and still come and make new highs, right? Because of this strength. Generally, when you see this type of strength, this is not the high. The high is going to come down the road, which means we might still be making new highs, even with a pullback in the coming weeks and in the coming months. Now, notice even on a smaller time frame, we are looking at the S&P 500 here. And since 2018 began, RSI on the daily has moved above 69.1, which is why this market won't stop going up because of the strength of the daily. Same thing with the Dow daily. And here we can see this. Above 69.1, prices move higher until we move back below 69.1 prices stay strong here 
until we move back below 69.1 prices stay strong again once we move above 69.1 nice uptrend until we move back below 69.1 and we've been holding above 69.1 for the most part since late December on the Dow daily which is why we see prices continuing to expand because of the underlying strength of the technicals take a look at the Nasdaq on the daily you can see that pretty much it's been holding above 69.1 since the beginning part of 2018 which explains the current strength and you can see here there have been shallow shallow pullbacks I mean very tiny pullbacks in there which you can see here on the hourly chart for the Nasdaq there is a shallow pullback there on the hourly but pretty much doesn't show up on the daily and the reason is because of the strength of the weeklies and the monthlies pullbacks are still very very shallow so if you're looking for a reason why this market starts stalling is well we are breaking out from the hourly chart but there is a possibility of negative divergence but that is not the strongest sell signal ever given the strength of the big time frames of the daily weekly and monthly and if we take a look at the s p 500 this week we started to seeing this emerging negative divergence so if you're looking for a reason to be suspicious and to hold off this is a reason here because we are coming back to test the highs seems like we are doing it on declining strength so maybe we are setting the stage for a pullback but again you gotta also respect the fact that we are the, we are within a very very strong market so let's say this is a trend you know even if we pull back and stay within the big trend this market continues higher of course at some point we are gonna know we are due for a major pullback once the market breaks below the current big picture trends but so far we haven't seen anything break right and this is the hourly for the S&P 500 take a look at the 30 minute chart same type situation we are testing the highs the technicals are making lower highs so the more this continues the more this is confirmation of negative divergence which might set the stage for a pullback but then again it's a big ask because we are still within a big big picture bullish market we are gonna need to see a huge drop so that we can break some of these charts without a big drop this market can continue trending higher in fact it might even pick up momentum and really go into a hyperbolic finish of this current move now I'd like to remind my paid subscribers to make sure they consider for those who are able to trade the cryptocurrencies I have a 30 minute video from yesterday which is still relevant and another one from this morning and this also includes stocks that you can trade in the US market that are related to the cryptocurrency space so if you have an interest in this space want more information subscribers make sure you do take a look at these two videos which I posted over the last two days the last one being early this morning enjoy your weekend eric mother with mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e i see s Mwah.